Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. We're going home, so just hold fast. And here's the verse of the day, and it's Galatians 5.1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So if you haven't let go of the world, or you've been entangled again with the yoke of bondage, Ask Jesus Christ to break those chains now and be patient and keep his word. He's coming to get us. And it's not my job to tell you when. My job is to point out the signs and show you when they happen. Now on to those signs, right where he said they would be in the sun, the moon, and the stars. I showed you the sunspot, 3413, and it's growing rapidly. And remember, I showed you 3413 in Strong's Bible Concordance. The definition is Michael, the archangel. And it looks like this sunspot should be directly earth facing on the super blue moon at the end of the month. The third super moon of this quadrilogy. The second full super moon of the month that creates this blue moon that tons of you brothers and sisters have had rapture dreams about, the two moons. And there's more signs in the sun. As you can see right here, it says a weird comet just buzzed the sun. And that comet is 322P, and I've been tracking it for years. Because in Strong's Bible Concordance, it means to lift up and show, show forth. And the usage is, I show forth, show clearly. And praise our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. Christina and I see this every year with the sun on the heart of Regulus because it's on our anniversary. And praise God that he just got me through that day. It was on August 23rd in 823 in Strong's Bible Concordance means in a moment, in the twinkle of an eye. So we've been watching this conjunction for years. And I noticed... Last year that this comet 322 would be on the sun, on the heart of Regulus, on our anniversary. And everything converging right now and all the confirmations and all these signs that he's giving us, the reason why he's doing it is because he's coming. These are the last heads up, family. And another reason I've been paying attention to this comet is because on August 21st, is when it lined back up with the sun, and that was the anniversary of GAS, the Great American Solar Eclipse, on August 21st, 2017. And you can see right there, on August 21st, when it started to skim the sun, and on that same day, on the anniversary of GAS, the moon was right next to Spica. Now I'm going to show you probably the most shocking sign that we've ever seen. And right now, today, this is exactly where the Comet 2023 Nishimura is. And there's videos going around saying three days of darkness and that this comet is going to eclipse the sun. Well, this comet is tiny. There's no way that it could eclipse the sun. What's going to happen is it's going to get brighter and brighter as we go through September. And then when we reach the Revelation 12 sign on 919, it'll probably be lost in the glare of the sun. But the signs are in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And I showed you, as you go through the days, this comet flies and zips right through the woman. And you can see that it's right next to Mars when it comes out. Well, here's what's gigantinormous, extremely gigantinormous, probably the most gigantinormous thing you've ever seen. And just a reminder, the planets, they used to be named wandering stars. And as you can see right here, an asteroid is a minor planet. That means these asteroids are minor stars. And I showed you this comet, 2023 Nishimura, was discovered on August 11th, 8-11. And remember, this comet comes out right next to Mars. And all glory to our Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, he told me to wait one week. And at the end of the week, I asked him, what am I waiting for, Jesus? What are you going to show me? And that's when it all happened. On July 25th, he showed me the asteroid child. And he showed me that 
It was coming out of what looks like the womb. On September 15th, the expected Feast of Trumpets date. And as soon as that happened, the signs just started pouring in. And praise our Father, a brother sent me this star, this minor planet, yesterday, and its name is Gale. And it's also known as 2097. And he sent me Strong's Greek 2097. The definition is to announce good news. And under that, you can see that it says, refers to sharing the full gospel of Christ. The complete message. So I took it a little further and did some more research. And here's where it gets beyond gigantinormous. Praise you, Father. This can't be denied. It can only be God's odds. So I looked it up. And 2097 Gale was discovered on 8-11-2, family. And I just got hit with the Holy Spirit. All glory to you, Father, in your name, Jesus Christ. But it gets way bigger. I looked up Gale, Bible meaning, and it literally means wormwood. But it gets way bigger than that. And I told you, I'm not saying any dates of the rapture. I'm showing you what's happening with the signs on the dates that they happen. And as you can see, this comet that was discovered on 811 is coming out straight into this star that was discovered on 811. And when you zoom in and you start going through the days, right past the Jubilee, right past the Day of Atonement, you can see it's headed straight for Wormwood. You can't deny it. It's right there. But it gets way bigger. Remember, they were both discovered on 811, family. Revelation 811. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. I got the Holy Spirit all over me. He wants you to see this. And if you're sleeping, wake up. So I was in complete shock, praising him and worshiping him. Jesus Christ, you're so awesome. I can't believe you're showing this to me. And I heard, go through the hours. So I zoomed in, family. And this is incredible. This is gigantinormous. This is magnificent. When you go through the hours, you can actually see it bounce off the star Wormwood right there, family. Bam. This comet that was discovered on 811 goes straight into this star that was discovered on 811. And when you back up to chapter 8, verse 10, and the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers. And upon the fountains of waters. 811, Wormwood. And when you zoom in more, so you can see this comet's tail, and you go back through it, you can see right there, the tail is facing downward. And the comet is flying the opposite way of the tail. And then it turns sideways and bounces off of Wormwood. And it's obvious that prophecy is being fulfilled like this comet flies through the heaven like light speed. And I zoomed in. And remember, the covenant with many is on 919 at the United Nations. And Jesus Christ is coming immediately. Any moment. So I zoomed in a little bit more and tracked it a little bit more, this comet. And as you go through the days... You could see it passes what they call cancer. And right there, that's what they call Leo, the head of the lion. Epsilon Leonis is the star that it's right next to on September 6th. And when you go through the hours and you zoom in some more, you could see the comet Nishimura, which means to go west, is going west. And it slips right by Epsilon Leonis without grazing it. Now back that up because as you can see right there, 
It does graze SAO 8101111. Just like Revelation 810811, family. It's right there. Now zoom back out a little bit and keep going through the hours. And we'll see what else happens. Right there. It completely misses that star. Both of them. And I'll zoom back out. And I'll go through the days. And on 9-11, it crosses the line. And I'll zoom back in. And you can see that it misses 60 Leonis. But this thing's tail is going to be gigantinormous, so it probably sweeps it to Leonis. And I'll zoom back out, and I showed you about September 12th, it crosses the line right there. And when you go to the 13th, it's closing in on Denebola. And as you go through the hours, it's approaching the lion's tail. And this is extremely gigantinormous, family. I'll zoom in some more so you could see the tail real clear. And I'll move through the hours and I'll show you right there on September 14th. It sideswipes Denebola. It turns sideways and the tail goes right through this star Denebola. Well, what's so gigantinormous about that is? A sister left this in the comments, and Denebola, also a Hebrew name, and the second brightest star means the judge or Lord who comes quickly. Put it together, family. This comment sweeps by this star with its tail, Denebola, that means the Lord comes quickly. And the very next day is the expected Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Teruah date, right when this comet enters the woman. The comet that was discovered on 8-11 that's headed straight for the star. Gale, that was discovered on 8-11. The star that literally means wormwood that the comet is headed straight at and bounces off of. Revelation 8-11, and the name of the star is called Wormwood. And when you see the picture, the celestial billboard that he's had me working on for days since the last time I showed it to you, you are going to be stunned. It's the perfect picture. It couldn't be clearer. We're going home. Praise you, Father, in the name above every single name, Yeshua HaMashiach, a.k.a. Jesus Christ. I love you, family. I'll see you in the clouds.